Hello and a welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is Transport Fever, the Square England Let's Play Speed Build series. And uh, we're just following, well, it's, it's a train on a line which has been with us for a little while. Uh, should we just check? Two years or so? Yeah. Uh, we're up here uh, in the uh, north end of the map around Bristol. And you may recall in the last episode we set up this new uh, goods factory up here to take all the steel and planks and stuff here from the Grantham hub which was building up and causing our production in the uh, sawmill and the uh, tools factory here to, uh, to, to stutter far too much. Uh, we were, just weren't shipping enough to keep the output of those factories going. Um, so yeah, that's been there and we're going to make some changes to that. If there's one thing you know about my <laughs> game playing, it's I'm always changing my mind. And we are certainly going to be doing that today. But before we start, uh, a quick look at how profitable we are. We're coming towards the end. We're in October of 2003 already, my goodness. Uh, and we are quite profitable. The last few years, my good, that was a bad year, wasn't it? 2000, a mere 50 million profit. Uh, what were my expenses? Uh, 14 million uh, in construction. New vehicles, oh, 101 million. Yeah, railroad, yeah, that's that was quite a lot. Um, yes, uh, whereas last year we managed uh, 162 million, basically by not spending much. Uh, so pretty much all our uh, income was converted into profit. Now, what I'm thinking here, um, I know there are other sort of freight areas which are sort of overflowing with goodies, uh, because we were up here at the end of the last episode, I noticed this farm here is getting a bit clogged up. There's a lot of wheat there waiting to be delivered. Um, and the farm here, uh, still a bit of food left. And oh, there's nothing in storage. Perhaps we're not getting enough grain into the food factory. Um, and what I'm thinking, to be honest, is we have... Uh, the main sort of uh, food factory line, taking the grain from here to the factory to bring food out, is also delivering food into Thiel here. We have a separate food line uh, coming from the factory again uh, up to Bristol. And we have this uh, goods line, goods factory here, which is bringing the, good, the, the steel and the planks up from Grantham and taking goods back to the main hub. What I'm thinking... And I was kind of planning on, on taking lines out here. If this is the north, that'll be the east, won't it? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> to the east over there. Um, and it occurred to me, well, we could do all, we could make this a proper hub up here, the northern, the, 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 the proper northern hub. That is a very poor approximation of a northern accent. I do apologise. <laughs> so we're going to rework this. Yep. Yep, I'm doing it all the time, aren't I? Um, it's sad, I know. But there. So what we're going to do, we're going to take food into this hub to start with, not delivering it directly to Bristol. The food will come here as a um, sort of, uh, what do they call it? A transi transitional, a transit stop, uh, a holding, a warehouse location for onward distribution to Bristol and then also to the other towns of Yate, we don't need to take it to Thatcham because Thatcham is getting food, goodness, already from uh, this other food uh, hub network down there. Um, Felix Stowe, are you getting food at all? You're not, so we might send Felix Stowe some food as well. Oh, change over the year, we're now in 2004 and lots of funky new trucks, scanners, new trains. Oh, new buses. That's probably quite a slow bus, but... Oh, look at this. Um, there are too many. <laughs> there are too many. I'm never going to use all these. I'll try and use something. Thank you. Right, that's finished. <laughs> right. Let's just pause the game briefly. Um, I've got all these trains rattling around in my, my, ear, my earphones, headphones. Um, right, so what we're going to do. How many tracks have we got here at this station? I did put in quite a few. Can we make it any bigger? Um, no. We don't... 
Don't want any more transit tracks. Five might well be enough, actually, I think. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to take this line here, which is currently being used by the Bristol Food Delivery, and plug it into this set of tracks here. Right, this is going to be fun. Okay, so how are we going to get this set up? What we could do. Uh, I don't really want. Oh, let me. How many tracks have I got? <laughs> so many types of track. Uh, catenary. We will because the electrics. Although we're using diesel for that, I still like using diesel for freight. Um. No, we won't. We'll still keep it diesel. Still keep it diesel until I decide that's not worth it. So coming out of here, actually, um, let's uh, take all these tracks along here. Just to get them done. Okay. Now the current line is going in there. I don't particularly want to interrupt that line too much so yeah we'll have to cut off fairly early here I think so how we're going to manage that what we could do is have the switch much earlier in the journey yeah let's do that so we'll put this in contenery for the moment uh, so you are coming in because we're traveling English style we're running in on the left if we move that to there, okay, that'll do. Get our lights in. Oh, I've got a new set of lights. Don't know what that means, what that does, but there you are. Oh, there's loads of them. I really should stop just randomly adding mods to the game because I have no idea how they work. Right, this is the UK light signal that we use. Uh, so you need to sit uh, there. We got one on the way out. We'll stick you there. See how many lights have we got? We That's interesting. Uh, Bristol, good bulk. Oh, we do have two trains on there. Did I not put signals on that line? Oh, that's very poor. Right, let's just put a couple more while I'm here and remember. Now I'm wondering, we're all getting very excited about the uh, upcoming release of Transport Fever 2. They've just released their second development highlights video, developers highlights video that is rather, uh, showing some of the infrastructure tools they've added uh, to the game, or they've they put into the game. Uh, and it includes very modular, build them piece by piece stations into the game, which looks totally awesome and one thing I remember which has been long been demanded or requested by some uh, players is um, a means of automatically laying traffic 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 lights by automatically adding signals to track particularly if you're double tracking be nice if it just or allowed you to put in and say I want a track every half mile a signal every half mile and just automatically put it down as you are laying the track kind of thing that'd be nice uh, no mention of that yet, though, uh, in the uh, in the highlights. But the release obviously isn't going to happen until quarter four of this year, so there's still a good way to go before they. Uh, let's uh, actually let's uh, get that in here before they uh, release it. So all sorts of things could happen. All sorts of. Uh, improvements that we can see but the get the transport fever 2 is is looking totally awesome at the moment it really is quite spectacular uh, what are these lights doing here they're out lights aren't they yeah that's what i do good lights coming out of the platform right so what we want is we will take uh should we have two tree yeah, we'll have two tracks so we want you. No, we want the third track in there first. 
So we'll take you across. Which means you can't do it. Don't be silly, game. You can do that. That will do, I think. Okay, so then we've got our two tracks for this other line coming in here. Right, and we need to get you to come off and join that uh, that line up there going across the screen, as it were. Uh, yeah, I think that will do. Right up there. Uh, this, I dare say, is on a bit of a hill. So we're going to want to... Yep, that works. Uh, we might need to get rid of more of this road. Don't like to cross road if we can help it. Um, we probably want to break off somewhere around here, don't we? Let's try that. Okay, that's all looking very smooth so far. Click the tick. Lay the track. The other thing, of course, that uh, people have been wanting for a while is a proper planning mode. Now they've they've hinted in uh, I think it was the world editor their first developer highlights video they were hinting that uh, they're not going to add a kind of planning mode for tracks into it because as they said committing to a a plan to a route is all part of the challenge um, which to be honest I'm I'm quite happy with generally speaking. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, so we don't really need signals here yet, do we? No. Okay. So what we do want though is we're going to be changing this food bulk. Actually what I want, uh, we want the track to come out of here to go to Bristol. So we want to maintain that that route, that delivery throughout, uh, th through the through the network. So we're putting in the delivery, in, doing the delivery in two stages now. So I don't want to cut it entirely because that, that might really upset the uh, production uh, of food in the, uh, the food factory. So this will come out of track three. Let's just get you out. And I was going to say straight out, but you're not. You're a little bit bendy, aren't you? Oh, well. Okay, so actually we could do. Okay, just to complete the uh, the track for this, just in case I do things differently in the future, which, to be honest, is uh, it's not at all unlikely. Right, so, yeah, we will join you up. Somewhere along here. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Can you go there without oh without too much effort at all? That's beautiful. Uh, is that the right one? Is that the right one? Actually we could no. I will have you going to the second track. There we go. And then you can go into the third. I think that makes more logical sense. I think it keeps the tracks better organised. Okay, and again, we will just switch you over like that. That's cool. Right, so this Bristol food bulk train, where are you at the moment? Oh, you're bringing food up. Oh, you're a nice fast locomotive, aren't you? That's, that's good. Um, okay, we're going to have to change your, your route somewhat. Uh, we don't need... Oh, we're going to change you as well, actually. Bec oh, yeah, there's that. Yeah, just just realised we're two parts to this, this even this small change we're two parts to it. Um, yeah, we'll come to that in a moment. <laughs> uh, right, so you are going to go after there to there, and 
Yeah, we are going to send you to platform two. Now you've got to come out of the cape for the moment. Uh, we're going to have to watch that train. Where that is, is. Right, once he's done his delivery, we'll change that route. So uh, so he goes there, and he'll, we'll put him on the correct platform when he does that. That's fine. Now, this Thiel train, as I was saying at the beginning during the intro, this does, does this diverts. So it takes the grain from the farm out of the factory, delivers food to Thiel, um, and then goes back to the factory, which is kind of slow. It makes loads of money, as you can see. We're over 12, 13 million uh, a year. That's not an issue. Uh, if we got you, yeah, we've got two big trains on there. Um, I mean, this obviously slows it down a lot. So what I want to do is send this, is miss out this step here and have a separate train again doing that from this hub. And that's going to be fun. That's. Am I going to need even more track along here? I think I might. Yeah, this route is confused now. <laughs> How many vehicles are on that line? Two. Oh, heck. Where's the other one? Right. We'll need to keep an eye on you as well by the look of it. So. Right. <clears throat> so the Thiel is not going to go to Thiel North. So you just travel along there. That's good. Okay, yep, you're fine. Uh, but we need to get a train that goes to Thiel from here. We could do it from here, couldn't we? If we get rid of these for the moment. So could we have Yes, I think that, yes, what we'll do, if we take you away. Get rid of you, that's it, okay. What we'll do is we'll have this moving, yeah, we'll put this switch. Have I got that right? I have onto this other track. Okay, so can we get you? Yes, up there. Now, there's a risk, of course, here that we're going to be interrupting other fast, um, fast, tra fast freight traffic along there, but we'll see if we cope. Uh, that's Oh, I see. Oh, we've just got the construction materials coming up from somewhere else, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, from there. That's right. Uh, so let's... Uh, okay. Let me get you out there. That's good. Get you here. That is actually, yeah, this is very bendy and naff because of that weird in and out system I put in to start with. So let's make that a lot more sensible. There we go. That's kind of sensible, I think, isn't it? Yep. And let's light it up. There we go. We put some signals in there, and obviously we want a signal here so it doesn't, so it stops appropriately when crossing the main lines. Okay. That's a very naff and kinky looking bit of track, isn't it? What are the speeds on there? 
Oh, we can make that better, surely. Whoops. Did I delete anything I didn't want to then? Let's start with the auto save. <laughs> it remembers what you clicked. Right, let's. Uh, we don't need the speed thing again. That looks better. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, although you might save money by building track in sections, it can make it look very lumpy and ungainly. Uh, basically, yeah, not nice. Aesthetically displeasing. Uh, that signal's still there, that's fine. Should we smooth this out a little bit? Let's do that. So the good people of Thiel can be reassured that the big construction works aren't going to affect, affect their quality of life. That all the land around their lovely town that is Thiel, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> it still looks fabulous. Right, uh, now we need to get another train out of here. Um, right, I think this will... Uh, actually, we're going to have to use Platform 4, I think, for this, aren't we? Let's see. Oops, don't want that. We want that. That's the button I said. Click it properly. There you go. That's the button I wanted. Um, actually, no, we could do... Yeah, if we put this double switch in there, will that do it for me? I think it will. But I might want... Uh, yeah, to get that back on there. Okay. Yeah, I think that will do the job. Okay, do I remember what I'm trying to achieve here? Oh yeah, the the, the route from the goods uh, factory hub thing here uh, to uh, from there to there. Let's make it a, a colour we can see. That's looking okay. This is a, all a bit mixed up when it comes to this track. No, we want you to be on platform four. There you go. Right, so let's get a bit of signaling up. So we will signal you. Whoops. There we are. Signal you there. That's still not helped. A few more signals. Will that help? Uh, no, not really. I wonder where the problem is. Uh, we're going to need a signal there. Uh, we'll put a couple more in here as well. There we go. And we probably... Yeah, and also along here. No, it really does not want to play ball, does it? So if we come out of Seal North and say go there, right? So it cannot connect. all the stations. 
Why have I not? Let's just check that by asking it to go to that one as well. Ah, so it can get to that one. Okay, so that ugly looking junction there works. So what's the problem here? So you can go on down. You definitely can go on down there. Quite sure why you can't get. Right, so there's something going on here. Have I missed a. I've missed a. Ugh, you clumsy oaf. Right, let's pretend that didn't happen. Can we do that? <laughs> I wish we could. Hey! Result! Okay, so this is going to be. Feel food, but uh, actually, it's probably going to might well include other stuff. So let's steal cargo bulk. We'll call it that. It's as good a name as any. Okay. Um, and we also need a new line to go from here. To Bristol. Aha, right, you appear to be working fine on the old double tracking malarkey. Well, that's good. I probably called it cargo bulk previously. But then we're not going to weigh too much, are we, about that? Uh, Colour it orange. Let's do that. Okay, so we have those two lines in place, which replace these the changes I'm making to the existing services. That's cool. Yeah, I think we've got ourselves covered there now. We just need trains on them. Um, Okay. <laughs> Where's. Yeah, I think our nearest depot is this beastie down here. Oh, am I not. Uh, not using all the tracks here? Well, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? I wonder if I can do that, though. Right, so, uh, how long are these routes? They're not that long, so. We don't need anything terribly expensive, do we? Let's see what we've got. They're both diesel, though. Got any, uh, these, uh, 2002. It looks like these are all the latest diesels. What's the betting? Yeah, we've got lots of really sexy looking new electrics. They all go a bit fast though, apart from these slow ones. They're all a bit fast, really. 87. Uh, that's expensive, mind. Can haul a lot. I'm not sure we need to haul that much for these, for these particular lines. Okay, so I've been spending money recently, mostly on these uh, BR218s. 87's a nice speed. Moderate power, quite good power really, and they're quite cheap. So we're going to continue doing that. They're, they're certainly current in within age. Um, have I got anything else? The thing with the, the 37, of course, is the power isn't great. Uh, they're too slow, really, I think. Uh, you're less powerful. I wonder if you might do the 58. Uh, that's, that's quite expensive. I think I'll keep the 58s for the big routes, really, because they look like a big sort of mainline loco, don't they, those? Uh, these 47s, 95. Actually, they're not bad. 
you know what I might do? What have I got here on the Bristol Food Bulk line? I don't need to do that, do I? I can just go here. Uh, that's a 47. Oh, you are travelling at 95. Yeah, we'll keep, no, we'll keep you on the main. I was thinking if I could transfer those to the local deliveries from the hub, but I won't. I'll keep those on the on the main line. Right, we're going to stick with the Germans again. Or I think that are they German? Uh, Bundesrail, uh, Deutsche Bundesbahn, and the like. Yeah, so they'll, they'll be German as opposed to the Austria, which is the OBB, isn't it? Right. Um, which one shall we use? We'll use. Um, that one, I think. Uh, we'll take that. And what wagon shall we use? Uh, you travel at 87. Uh, you go at 75, though, Mr. Wagon. Primarily, these do carry all the sort of um, end products. That we need for town, so they're good. They don't carry that many, and they do travel quite slowly. So well, 75, which is slowish. Um, the Naffy, of course, carries everything at 99. They're a little bit pricey compared to these. Yeah, they do carry more and are faster. These love, these are wonderfully old wagons. <laughs> but they carry. Uh, they also go faster than we need them to. Uh, uh, no, I actually no, there was something else, wasn't there? Or these? Uh, they got they're 105 compared to 145. Oh, again, they carry, They only go at um, 75. We've not used these container wagons before, have we? Uh, so we could use those. Let's do that. They carry a little bit more than, well, one of the wagons. <laughs> so we'll take... Uh, so how many is that? That's seven, isn't it? Three and three? That's six. Yeah, if you do your... Let's see, that's, that's still got a good rating. Okay, let's let's try that, shall we? Uh, we'll clone that. And... Move you. And you down there. And we'll stick you and you back up. Just, just to sort of change the alignment of them. Right, uh, train 72. Can we send you to the Bristol cargo bulk? Yes. Right. And 73, can we send you to the Thiel cargo bulk? Yes, we can. Right. Let's get the game going. Oh, I love these translucent windows on the depots. Watch the train coming out. Not quite sure what you're waiting for, but you are. I won't worry about that too much. <laughs> they do travel very slowly, though, this part of the part of the network. I right, will come back to you. I want to keep an eye on these trains though. Because you guys are being rerouted. Right, where are you? Ah, uh, right, okay, so the Bristol Food Bulk, we can... Right, once this guy's delivered, we'll take the Bristol Halt out of their... out of their route. There we go. Three million in one drop off, that's rather sweet, isn't it? Okay. Right, let's just uh, pause that for a second while we check the lines. 
Actually, if we get all the uh, steel food bulk, um, uh, no, ah, uh, right, yes, we want you to go from there to there. Why can we not do that? Do, do we want to? Am I am I being an ass here? Sorry, the word is ass. Ass, isn't it? <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I'll get uh, demonetized. <laughs> like I'm monetized. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's just delivering food. There. Uh, yeah, delivering grain to the factory. That's fine. Yeah, well, I'm happy with you. Um, so it was the other lines we wanted coming out of here. Just check those. Uh, not you. Uh, Bristol field cargo. Bristol cargo. And it's Bristol food bulk. Right. Uh, yeah. This this is wrong. So the Bristol food bulk needs to come into platform two. Yeah, because that one comes in there. Yeah, field goes out of four. That one goes out of three. Oh, that's sweet. That is beautiful. Right. He said. Confident that that will work. <laughs> that's a really nice model, isn't it? Again, uh, all the mods we're using, and uh, if I remember, I'll put some of those that we saw in the drop-down list but didn't actually use in, in this game. Um, I'll put them in the description to the video uh, down below, and they will, of course, all be in my Steam collection as well anyway. So you can, uh, if you don't have them in your game at the moment and fancy having them to play with, uh, you can uh, you can find them on the Steam Workshop. Yeah, all the mods I'm using are in the Steam Workshop. I'm not using any taken from transportfever.net where there's a whole host of other mods as well um, which can be used whether you're using a Steam version of the game or not um, I, I, I just prefer the ease of use of Steam that's all I may be entirely wrong and misleaded, <laughs> misled about how good it is doing it that way but that's that's me right is this goods bulk line making any money yet no it's ma it's losing less. Now we're in March so far, so that's okay. Right, so this train here. So actually, let's just uh, have a quick check of our lines. That's good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, and then you head off there. That's super cool. Just, should we just uh, monitor you for a second? Let's speed him up. It's quite a trek over there. See, I built that lovely bridge, which is now entirely redundant. <laughs> Crying shame. Yeah, we, we might use it for some other purpose, maybe. But then again, probably not. I should do some smoothing here, can't I? Just move that along a bit. A little bit of... Uh, it's not, I'm not going to call it eye candy, as I was just about to. Sometimes the strangest words pop into my head, uh, which would... Five and a half million for delivering food to the goods hub. Excellent. Right, so what's the goods hub doing at the moment? Loads of food for Thiel. Quite a little bit less for... Oh! It's our train. He's here already. No, not going to worry about that. <laughs> Slow you down a touch. It's 
So, what are you going to be carrying off to Bristol? Um, nothing. <laughs> Because that wasn't your first stop. Well, that's silly, isn't it? If we send you back... Would be nice, I think, if he could... He should be able to pick something up and make some sort of delivery and make some sort of money before the year's out. Uh, I'm not sure why... I'll, I might look at that off-camera and if we need to deal with it in the next episode. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Ooh. Look at our cash flow. We're about to hit three billion. Nice. And you're filling up with a few goods. A good first selection of food. I do love this uh, this station. The way it moves and everything. Ah, and uh, you're the Thiel Cargo one. You should have a lot more to to carry. There you go. Filling up some... Uh, actually... You know, we might have to actually increase the capacity on these trains. Uh, that, that, uh, if, uh, if I have a fault... Let's be, let's be honest, I have many faults. <laughs> One of which is underestimating. Uh, underestimating how much cargo these trains would need to carry. Now they're running, uh, no, what do you mean no path? What do you mean no path? Well, you've come in on the wrong line, haven't you? Oh, bother. Right, uh, okay. A little bit of... Uh, if we make this bit electric. Uh, so if we set you up there. That should help, I think. It does, you know. It, it really, really does help. Uh, um, okay, so you're on line one. And I've now put in this lovely little switch here to take you onto there. is fine. don't understand why you're not getting out. don't think that should make any difference. No path. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, let's see if we can play this a little bit differently. We'll take the catenary off. I don't really want it there. Put you to there. Oh, hang on. Let's go. What's uh... there? You are. <clears throat> That's curious, then, isn't it? If we set him from there to there. Oh, you are going now. Good. Right. I think we've got you sorted. Cool. Well, I think I'll do actually while I'm here. I shouldn't need to. But it might help when we're bringing trains up from that depot to have all those double slipped. So trains can 
Oh, look at this. Busy, busy, busy. So, what are you carrying? Still not much steel and planks. Really would like you to carry more. I'm not sure. Well, now we've got more trains coming out of here. That's not a bad figure. 1.62 million. Still not making profit, though. So what's happening down at the, uh, the hub here? Where's all those planks going to? Machinery bulk. Ooh. Ah. Is that big? Uh, because that factory is closer. Has more outputs. More lines. I'm not sure. Well, if that line has been running for actually it's three years now, isn't it? It should be properly bedded in now. Now, hopefully, it's possible that these new trains to Bristol and Thiel might encourage more uh, goods manufacturing up here. Where am I on the map? I'm lost. We shall see. Yeah, I think we're going to need to enhance those trains. Anyway, there we are. That, I think we'll leave it. We're coming to the end of 2004. We'll leave that for today. Um, so, in the next episode, uh, I will do something else. Um, I think we can deliver to Yate. So we might set up another route from there. I was also talking about sending stuff to Felixstowe. I'm not sure if this hub is the best place to do that. We might send that, in fact, up from this other food factory here. Uh, Thatcher or Field Plymouth, that's where it is, uh, to Felixstowe. That would be closer. That could be an interesting route as well. Right, so there you are. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this ep episode. If you have, it would be great to hear from you by leaving a like. Just clicking that little thumbs up button, that would be great. Otherwise, of course, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, recommendations or even criticisms, it would be truly amazing to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments section below. That would be amazing. Awesome. That'd be, I'd be rather touched and pleased. <laughs> Um, and of course if you've not already done so please do subscribe to the channel and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series but from me Ajax Post here in Transport Fever I'll see you again soon but until then bye bye for now